fisheries. Now this is one of my favourite places to come. I've not come for a couple of years as well, so I'm really, really excited. There's multiple lakes on site. It really is like a fisherman's playground. There's loads of little bites to be had, little opportunities, moving around, stay on your toes. So that's the name of the game today. Also, I'm here with the guys from Club Carp. I'm going to run through a rig that I use in pretty much all my fishing, which is now available in the Club Carp box. And we've got loads to do today. But most importantly, from my point of view, I hope we catch a carp or two. Plan is to travel extremely light. I've barely got any gear with me. I'm hooking that, landing net, my, my terminal tackle, and then a couple of sauna off rods. And the plan is just to move around between all the different lakes, all the different little nooks and crannies. I know there's going to be a few fish. I think that's going to be the best way to get a bite. I always think on this place, if you're not feeling like you're close to a bite, then go and move because there's always a bite to be had somewhere on this complex. We've got one rod out straight away, and I saw one of the best fish in the lake, this nice big fully swim past. I know it likes to live up here as well. If I could catch any of them, it would be that one. So yeah, I'm feeling really, really confident and yeah, hopefully we get a quick bite. chance for big in there but we're off the mark and there's so many spots and there's so many spots all around the lake at the moment where I've been tricking bait in and keeping an eye on that they've got fish on so let's get them out get them back It's definitely not the biggest fish in the world, but you can't help but admire the colours on these fish. It's one of the reasons why I like coming here so much. The fish look wicked, and of course, the way that you fish for them. Just because we caught one here, it doesn't mean I'm going to stay, it actually means I'm going to move. I think the swim could be disturbed a little bit. I'm going to put some bait in and move on to another area that I've baited. There's another lake that's got some bigger fish in, and I've seen them on the bait that I put in, so I think that's the best place to move on to now. I'll slip this one back, put a bit of bait in, get on the move. So we just had that fish and now I think the best thing to do is, is get baiting on the other spots that we've, we've seen, that we've prepped already and that we've seen a few carp on. What I'm going to do now is spend about an hour or so in every swim to see if we can nick a bite here or there. Some lakes are more difficult than others, I'll give it a little bit more time there. Some lakes I expect a quick bite, so we'll just play each, each spot by ear 
and see if we can stay on the move and always feel like we're close to a bike. That's what's important at this lake, at this complex of lakes. You need to always feel that like you're close to a bike. So that's what we're going to aim for. Once this bait's gone in, we'll go at the rods out on the first one, sit back, chill out a little bit, and wait for a bite. Okay, we've gone for a move, the rods are out and it's looking pretty promising, but I thought now would be a good time to show you what's actually in the box. Now this is my first time seeing it as well, so let's get it open and do a little unboxing. So inside we have got the rig card with instructions on how to tie the rig this is the rig that I'm using right now. It's the rig that I pretty much use all the time, so you really can't go wrong, in my opinion, with the slip Ronnie. We've got all the components you need to make that. We've got shrink tube, we've got bait screws, we've got size six claws, we've got Ronnie swivels, and we've got 20 pound semi-stiff skin link. In addition to that, we have some hook bait balancing foam and a bait core if you ever need to balance your tigers, anything like that, this is perfect for that. We've got a sample pack of the new Citrus. This bait is fantastic. I've been using it loads and loads in the testing process. I really can't recommend this enough. I think you're gonna love it. And then finally, we have got Club Carp Cap, which I think I'm gonna swap over and use now and take this home with me. Perfect. And that is everything you've got in the box. Normally when tying this, you've got the rig car, but on this occasion, you've got me. So I'm gonna run you through exactly how I tie this and any little tips and tricks I've got for you that can improve it based on the substrate you're fishing over. So first up, I get the spool of skin link. And I'll take a length of this. If I'm fishing over a really clean bottom, I'll fish with quite a short length. If I'm fishing over something that's low line weed, a bit more silty, then I'll go for a longer length. For the standard, I'll aim to do my rigs about eight inches long. So I've cut off a bit more than that now to give me a bit of room to play with. Next up, I'll take a Ronnie swivel. With the Ronnie swivel, I'll actually attach it to the skin link with a figure of eight loop knot. It just adds a little bit more movement to the rig. and I think it hooks carp a little bit better. I won't make that loop too big, just to allow for that little bit of movement. Once the knot's been bedded down, I'll snip off the tag end. And at the other end, I'll tie another figure of eight loop knot. I'll make this one a little bit bigger. By doing this, I've got a big double over section and that actually acts as an anti-tangle sleeve to help kick away the rig and reduce tangles. And that is actually the boom section complete. Next one you need to do is add on the hook and the kicker. So I'll take out a size six claw. I'm always confident these are super sharp. I'll just check it first to make sure it's as sharp as I want it to be. And it is absolutely fine. I'll then take a length of shrink tube. The amount of shrink tube you need to take should be just enough to cover the length of the shank of the hook. I'll slide that over the eye of the hook, pushing it all the way down and then I'll attach the hook eye to the Ronnie swivel and push that shrink tube in back over the Ronnie swivel. Make sure you don't go over the barrel of the swivel. If you go over the barrel of the swivel, it's gonna reduce the rotation ability of that swivel and it's gonna affect your ability to hook carp. I'll then take a lighter and light the shrink tube so that it mounts in place. You don't need to boil the kettle for this rig, which is very, very handy. Whilst the rig tube's still a little bit soft, I can bend it into a position that I like. I like to give it a bit of an aggressive angle. So 
hold it there for a moment, as you can see, it's now in place. Then I need to attach the D-rig kicker and the bait swivel. The reason I fish with a kicker as opposed to fishing straight on the shank is because I think that little bit of separation just allows that hook to turn further back in the fish's mouth. When I first started using the Ronnie rig, I would use it with the hook bait straight on the shank and I'd lose maybe three in 10 fish. I had really, really poor hook to land ratio. As soon as I added this kicker and had that little bit of separation between the hook bait and the actual hook itself, my hook to land ratio, it shot up. So it's something that I always, always do. I think it's really important. With the D-Rig kicker, I'll snip off a tiny little bit of it and this will just allow me for it to fit snugly over the shrink tube and hold in place really, really well. Next, I take a bait screw and I'll slide that onto a boiling needle. This will make it easier to attach it onto the D-Rig kicker. I'll slide that bait screw over onto that D-Rig kicker and now it's ready to go onto the hook. I'll push it over the point. Be careful not to blunt in it all the way around and at this point, it will go really nicely over that shrink tube, actually holding in place perfectly. And even if a coot swam down and started picking at that, the hook bait's gonna be pulled off before that D-Rig kick has pulled off that shrink tube. It's such a nice, tight, snug fit. And there is the complete rig. It really is as simple as that. The only other thing you can do now is add a little bit of putty. I'd add a little bit of putty to the knot just here if I was fishing a pop-up, just to counterbalance it. And also I might put a little bit of putty halfway down the boom, just to help it sink down a little bit nicely and kick away from the actual lead. And that is pretty much all I'll do. It's the rig that I use in, I'd say, 90% of my fishing. It's really, really easy to tie. You can change the hook super easily as well. And for me, it's one of the best rigs out there. That absolutely ripped. I'm fishing literally right down off the rod tip and it just went from nothing to I love this lake. This lake is my absolute favorite. It's absolute favorite. It's the hardest one to fish, I'd say, with the fewest carp in, but the carp are really, really cool and you can fish it in such a cool manner. I'm just hoping it is one of the nicer ones. It's so snappy, this lake, so you're always always on edge when you're playing you can never really enjoy the fight you just worry they're gonna get in weed beds or getting a bit of timber in the water oh yeah he's nice much bigger than the last one with him we were just doing a little run through of how to tie the rig there and we sat back away from where the rods are i'm just fishing off the edge of my rod tip and it just went to absolute meltdown fish steamed off down the channel managed to bring it back loads of fun with that little six foot rod and we've got a really nice common in the net this is what this lake and this whole complex is sort of renowned for these dark really really nice common carp so can't wait to get them out and show you but yeah, I was, wasn't expecting a bite that quickly in this area, so that's a really, really good sign. I think we're going to move on to another spot now. I might bait it again, come back, but yeah, blown away a little bit. Yeah, went happy with that. moments like this are exactly why I love this place. Really, really cool carp, such intimate fishing. And you know, I wasn't expecting to catch one this big, this quickly from that lake. That lake is notoriously quite tricky. Well happy with him, such a cool, dark old common carp that this place is famous for. I'm gonna get him back, get on the move again. We've got a few more spots prime. I think we can get maybe one or two more bites before we have to call it a day. 
but if I go home, and this is the biggest and the best fish I catch, I'm just more than happy because, yeah, it's a really, really special car. I might have to be myself. So we've just had a little move and we wanted to go to a few spots that I primed earlier, but it is a Friday, it's a bank holiday weekend, the swims are starting to get quite busy, so sadly I couldn't drop onto them. So we've come back to where I started and within seconds I've landed, if I can get him up here, I don't think I can, there we go. Really within seconds I've had a little tench, not what we're after. I think because of having this one, I might actually sack this spot off if the tension has been hammering it and put it just a little bit round the corner so we can fish the snag spot and we can fish just round the corner. Um, I think that's going to be the best way. We can try and nab one more bite before we call it a day. But I'm quite happy with how things have gone after catching that, that bigger than it is. So yeah, let's get this one back out. Try and catch that one last go. A little Quasimodo looking one this. Another one of the small commons. Sadly this lake, it's got quite a few small fish in uh, from a recent stocking and you see to be pestered by them a little bit. Loads of action today, it's been really good fun and uh, yeah, it reminds me why I need to come back down to this place a little bit more often. Well, it's definitely not the best looking carp in the pond. All bent up Quasimodo thing, but yeah, the end of a really, really cool session, roving around very simple the rig doing the job yeah it's been a pretty fun day i'm so happy we managed to catch that big one earlier on so gonna slip him back get on the move hope you enjoyed the session hope you enjoy using the rig yourself i wish you the best of luck with it get tight lines see you next time